You know that the college football preseason is really hitting its fever pitch when the national polls get released. That's the case for our FCS football teams. The American Football Coaches Association releasing their preseason rankings for the FCS. North Dakota State ranked second in the AFCA preseason poll as they prepare for their first year under that guy, head coach Tim Polisek. The top ranked team heading into the year isn't a very surprising pick. South Dakota State receiving 25 of the 26 first place votes. That other first First place vote went to the 25th ranked Florida A&M. The Missouri Valley Football Conference had even more teams on the poll as well. South Dakota at 5th, Southern Illinois at 11, Illinois State at 20, North Dakota at 22, and Youngstown State ranked 23rd. Another one of our college teams opened up their fall camp today. Minnesota State University Moorhead hitting the turf at Nemzek Field for the first time this fall. The Dragons are coming off of a 7-4 and four year with a heavy veteran presence on the roster, including the man who broke pretty much every single, season, every single season record at quarterback last year, Jack Strand. We'll be able to hear more from the Dragons as our college gridiron tour continues this week. And hey, speaking of which, the first episode of our gridiron tour is on our website now, in case you missed it at 6. Our first First stop was with the Bison, talking to them about their depth on the defensive side of the ball and their season opening matchup against Colorado. A little bit of an early check in on the ice, but one of our local athletes has a pretty big opportunity. Kenley Fisher, a blue liner for the Fargo North South Spruins, has earned a spot on the United States women's roster for the under 18 series. She had been invited to a development camp earlier this year. The United States U18 squad will play in a three game series against Canada this Wednesday, Thursday and Saturday in Ontario. The Minnesota Twins with an AL Central matchup. The, the Royals aren't playing each other, I promise. It's a tough start for the Twins, though. Bobby Witt Jr. with an absolute laser into left field. This one all the way over the wall. A solo blast giving Kansas City a very early lead. It's a 2-1 to one game now as we move into the bottom of the second, but Willie Castro is going to crack this one open. A deep shot of his own to right field. One big swing from Castro gives the Twins their first lead of the day. They're up 4-2. to two. Royce Lewis decides to keep those good vibes going. Watch as this one go into the stands out left. It's a home run party at Target Field. Minnesota leading 6-2. to two. Kansas City will get one back, but the Twins decide to put this game all the way out of reach. Matt Walner gets just enough of it into center field. Trevor Larnick making the long trip home from second. The Twins put this one to bed. 8-3 to three, the final from the Twin Cities. Twins passing Kansas City for the second wild card spot in the American League with this win. Currently. I'm, they haven't won that wild card spot yet. They're still like a month. We got to, we're getting into approaching baseball playoff time, though. Is this football season starting, baseball playoff mm -hmm. time coming mm -hmm. around, hockey, basketball right around the corner. Oh, that's unbelievable. Halloween's we're approaching a very busy time. <laughs> Christmas here. is coming up next. Okay, hang on here. <laughs> Russ is back in with one more check of your forecast. The weather still feels like summer for the most part. Next.